storm coming in. It's our first storm for the trip, believe it or not. However, we have had a lot of wind. I thought I'd take a moment to show you how we secure our awning when we're traveling and we don't want it to blow away or get damaged. So with our particular awning, at both ends we secure it with ratchet straps. And what I like about the ratchet straps are if you get one that has the extra loop in it, you can actually flip it over top of the barrel of the awning and then that secures the entire barrel. Just any old ratchet strap will do, but if you can, try to find one that's got this loop in it, like this one, so then you can hook over top of that barrel, keeping it nice and secure. And in this case, I've just got one ratchet strap going down into the ground. So what I've got down here is actually a coach bolt. This is a 25 centimeter coach bolt. I picked these up from Bunnings. I bought a washer to suit as well. And I find that using my hammer drill, I can pound these into anything from the outback through to, we're currently in Queensland, all different types of soil types. If the ground's particularly hard, like we find sometimes, we actually switch the hammer drill out for an impact driver. And that gives us much more torque to drive these uh, screws down into the ground. Switch it over. And then I've got my impact driver ready to go. Once you've got your ratchet strap on, any excess can actually be taken up, up on the slide here and tied to it. And of course, you can ratchet to make it nice and secure. So this gives you plenty of strength over the barrel of your awning. As the winds come in, you can be comfortable that it's not going to blow off, it's going to stay up there. But what about the noise? There's plenty of flapping and banging coming from generally the actual awning material itself. It tends to vibrate and go back and forth and flap around. So what we've got here is a, a Max to flapper and this secures your awning across the side rail, keeping it tight. You can see there's a wind coming in now, but it's not uh, rattling around. You actually hear a lot of flappings and vibrations and this actually stops it. It does a great job. We've got one at both ends. They're easy to fit. They're Velcro, so the Velcro goes back over here and then you just tighten it onto the awning, making it nice and tight. One last thing to be aware of is this center support for the awnings. Now we've got a 19 foot awning. You might not have it if you've got a smaller one, but you can see here it extends across and it does two things. One, it provides an extra layer of support for this barrel because it can get quite heavy and it can get bowed and so by providing this extra leg it actually gives an extra bit of support and pushes that awning out a bit more the second thing it does is gives you another anchor point so we've driven a couple of pegs in here to keep this tough on the ground so I can't come up it's another anchor point to stop hopefully this storm coming through battering our awning and damaging it met plenty of people around Australia that have had awning damage we met one uh, couple that had actually been on their third awning and they weren't that long left from behind. So you should take protecting your awning really seriously. Make sure you secure it. If you can use two anchor points down each end, I've only got one in place here. Generally, I will have two, but the ground here is so strong that I've actually got those uh, screws down and I'm quite comfortable they're not going anywhere. Dari Steph, that thorning's not going anywhere. I'll just watch it come in. Beautiful. Yeah, she's a coming. Last tip when you're setting up your awning, Make sure you have a bit of an angle on it as well because water will pull and it can build up inside the awning underneath here. So make sure you have it tilting off to one side. You don't always want everything perfectly plumb.